Hey folks, this is KVSMC. Uh, Kenny, I gotta replace all this stuff. But uh, I got all new duct work throughout the whole house. Uh, new vapor barrier. And I got insulation just falling on everywhere. And that's because the uh, the little metal, the metal strips right there. It just it's just so much moisture up underneath this house in the summertime and all that good junk. <clears throat> so we got to replace all that stuff. Uh, it's white mold and black mold, but as far as you can see, uh, it just. It just not good. Let's see, all this insulation is falling down. That's gonna get all ripped out from underneath of here. And if I can hit this old train unit, 1995. I'll replace that. I'll put a new carrier three ton unit. I like my train, but train ain't a train anymore. And anyway, y'all. I got uh, all this block right here that you see is going to be sealed. Conditioned cross space. So, but yeah, y'all, it's just, it's not looking good underneath it here. This mold right there, black mold and some white mold. Uh, but here, let me, let me see if I can let y'all see. As far as you can see, his insulation is falling down everywhere. But anyway, we we'll get you some better clips. All right. Okay, y'all. It's an old air, old air handler, and uh, gotta replace all this stuff. There's an old vapor bear, which has been there forever in the day. But all this block along these walls are going to be two inch spoon block insulation. They're going to rip all the insulation out from underneath of there and redo everything. So you're talking about a big job. So yeah, y'all. Just want to let you know what I've been up to. I've got side sheet outside in it. Okay, y'all. Here is the outside unit, and it's a three-ton train. Been a dig on good unit. It's like an XL series from 1995. And uh, anyway, we're gonna place it, put a carrier unit in. Uh, we had a carrier at my parents' house, probably last 30 years old. Uh, a train was a train like it used to be. I'd probably get another train, but. I'm going to get the carrier, performance, uh, 15, 15 sear, which well, this one's probably like a 9 or a 10, so it's going to be a whole lot more efficient. But, but like I say, the time we condition that cross base, all up and along, underneath of there, it's probably going to save us 30% on our heating bill, or maybe 40%, but we'll see. Because what it is when that gets insulated all along the walls inside there, conditioned crawl space, it's gonna no creep crawler, crawlies, mice, crickets, all that kind of junk. We're gonna give her a whirl. But anyway, I just want to show you uh, part one of the project. And there'll be more, oops, there's my finger. Well, be more, more videos to come. So. Part one, uh, what's going on? But that's what I've been up to, just closing the pool, all that good stuff. And, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be an exciting project. Call it a lot of money project too. But the way my electric bill is now, that's the reason why I'm sticking with electric because it's, it's cheapest to run electric, especially when you have solar and wind power. All right. Well, 
I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, folks. Um, this is part one of this series here. So, just want to give you a little thumbs up. Get rid of black mold, white mold. But the uh, air I'm breathing outside right now is cleaner when I'm breathing inside the house, so it needs to be taken care of. Okay, y'all. Thank you for watching. Hey, y'all have a good one, y'all. All right. Y'all take it easy now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. All right now. God bless and some. God bless and some.